so today uh, in uh, this video i will show you about the uh, first experiment of your term 1 exam that is to determine the resistivity of 2 3 given wires by plotting the graph between voltage and current so for that uh, uh, we required your voltmeter ammeter your rheostat battery eliminator so all these things are required and uh, i'll show you in detail how to connect the apparatus and also i'll show you the calculation that how to do that practicals so let's come to the experiment part so now you can see uh, here the title that to determine the resistivity of the uh, two three given wire by plotting the graph so you know that from ohm's law r proportional to l and uh, r also proportional to 1 upon area so r equal to rho l by a and rho is equal to r a upon l so this is your formula that we are going to use here so what we will calculate here we will calculate resistance area of cross section and length of a given wire that we need to calculate to calculate the resistivity so r we will calculate by uh, the graph between the voltage and current and area of cross section and the length these things will calculate length will calculate with a scale and area of cross section of course will can write it in terms of pi d by 2 square so d by 2 means r square so diameter will measure uh, diameter of the given wire will measure with a screw gauge right once all the data we have then we can put all the data and we can calculate the resistivity that we will do in the next part then uh, we will have the uh, will uh, record the data take the record of the data of voltage for a given voltage we will find out the voltage and we will write the uh, for that voltage what are the given current and we will pl plot a graph between them a graph is, will be a straight line then we will find out the slope that delta v by so this is a v i graph so delta v by delta i will give you the resistance the change in voltage by change in current will give you the resistance so once we calculate the resistance that will calculate from the graph you need to draw a graph and uh, circuit diagram also will do in the back page that white page in your um, record book then once we calculate we will put all the value and we will calculate the resistivity let us go to the apparatus okay so these are the apparatus already i have connected i am showing you how these are uh, connected and what are the different components so as you can see this is a battery eliminator where we will provide the voltage to the circuit and these are connecting wire the red one is the positive output and this one is the negative terminal this is the output so we will connect with the connecting wire the first of all this is a positive terminal we will connect it with a ammeter ammeter will measure the current this is a ammeter and the range is also measure uh, mentioned that 0 to 2 ampere this range of the ammeter and how will you connect the red will connect to the red terminal of the ammeter then black with the black terminal i will connect with the red terminal of the voltmeter so this is the voltmeter and the black terminal i will connect it with the rheostat right so the rheostat has two common terminal and I will connect with any terminal suppose I will connect with this one so it this length when I will uh, move this knob so this length it will take will have the resistance it is a variable resistance and from this end of the rheostat I will connect to the up black terminal that is the negative terminal of your battery right so what we will do here and one more important thing that we are connecting as you know voltmeter is connected over a uh, conductor or a resistance in parallel connection so i have connected here another wire this wire we are going to find out its resistivity this is a steel wire and its standard value is approximately 16.62 into 10 to the power minus 6 uh, ohm centimeter and uh, we will find out the resistivity of this given wire that is the steel which i have connected parallelly with the voltmeter right so what we will do now now this is the circuit diagram now i'll switch on the my uh, source so that you can see here i have fixed the knob here i can provide different voltage like 10 volt 20, 12 volt 8 volt like that i can provide different voltage so i'll i have fixed here 10 volt 
and for a fixed volt source voltage 10 volt what i'll do i'll move the your rheostat here you can see i'll move the change the resistance so as i'm changing as i'm changing bring close so as i'm changing you can see the change in voltmeter and also in emitter the emitter knob and voltmeter knob both are both are both are changing as you can see the voltmeter and emitter knob is changing simultaneously with the change in the rheostat you can see it's changing so i'll take different uh, values of current and voltage okay i'll change the knob of rheostat and i'll take different values of volt voltage and current and i'll fill up this table suppose uh, my at any instant if i'll measure suppose uh, a little bit increase the current and voltage let's say now the voltage is 0 0.5 volt you can see and the current is also approximately 0.5 ampere or you can say 0.4 ampere nearly so i'll feel like this i'll fill my table like this like your voltage is 0.5 and your current is 0 0.4 ampere so that i'll fill up again i'll change the rheostat and i'll keep on taking different records then i'll draw the plot and after i drawing the plot i'll calculate the resistance right now let me take to the take you to the calculation part as you can see this calculation part first i'll calculate r that is you can you can calculate delta v by delta i so it's approximately let's say 0 0.5 by 4 or approximately it, uh, i can write 0 0.8 ohm uh, it is so you you can calculate taking different approximation so for that uh, area of cross section and length area of cross section i have to measure the diameter i have already told you uh, that i'll measure the length with a scale and area of cross section with a diameter uh, area of the diameter with a screw gauge right so let me uh, show you how to measure with a screw gauge so this is a screw gauge so with this i'll measure the diameter of the given wire so i'll keep the wire inside the this uh, knob and i'll tight it now you can i can take the reading from here and i can measure the screw gauge the screw gauge experiment is uh, a separate one you can do it i'll not do it de detail so approximately 0 0.5 mm i am getting uh, for the diameter of the screw gauge now let's come to the so here if we'll put all the values like pi value and this is suppose 0 0.8 and the length also I have measured with uh, the scale around its uh, 20 centimeter. So if we will put everything and calculate, it will it is it will come around 92 into 10 to the power minus 6 ohm centimeter, right? So it will uh, come around uh, not 98, uh, 92. It will come around 76.8 uh, into 10 to the power minus 6 ohm centimeter. Now it is uh, means. Uh, uh, the standard is 16 into 10 to the 16.62 uh, into 10 to the power minus 6 so this much of variation we will get because the measuring there are different uh, errors are here measuring the diameter measuring the length uh, then finally measuring the resistance so lots of things are there so there there are lots of errors in in the uh, measurement uh, because we cannot measure uh, perfectly it will vary point to point so this much of error we will get but approximately in the order of 10 to the power minus 6 we are getting so resistivity is coming in that order so you can say uh, you can calculate in this way taking another wire also this is the steel wire i have taken you can take any copper wire uh, like this you can take one copper wire you can take a aluminum wire and you can calculate the resistivity using this method so thank you and i think uh, uh, means uh, you can write your experiment uh, in this way. Thank you.